Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to try to do a pop-up Instagram style tag for your videos inspired by how Jake Paul does in his recent vlogs. So I've got some clips on the timeline and before we begin, I'm going to be using a pop sound effect and I got this sound effect from the YouTube audio library. If you just search YouTube audio library, they have free music and sound effects. And so I just searched in the sound effects for pop and there's this cartoon pop that I'm using right here. So although you could do tracking like this in After Effects and you could probably create the shapes better in Photoshop, I wanted to do this all in Premiere Pro built in so you don't have to work between any different programs and that's what the result you saw in the beginning was. So to start, let's go to Title, New Title and choose Default Still. And in this title menu, we're gonna use the built-in tools to create our tag shape and animate it all right within Premiere with keyframes. So first, there is no perfect rounded corner rectangle like it actually is on Instagram. So we're just gonna use the actual rectangle for the best results. And we'll click and we'll drag out a rectangle and depending on how long the name is, we can adjust this after. And now let's go to our half wedge tool. And if you hold shift while dragging this one out, you can get a perfect half triangle. So we'll make a small little triangle here in relation to this. And then if we press V, we can grab our move tool or select it here and then grab the corner and rotate it while holding shift to get a perfectly straight up triangle. So we'll place this near the middle of our wedge so that the two lines touch exactly on each other. And you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to nudge one pixel at a time so you get an exact match. So once you have that, I'm actually gonna select both of these and for the title properties, I'm going to go to color and we're gonna choose a really dark gray, almost might as well be black if you want. Press okay and set the opacity of that to about 90%. So now we have a somewhat transparent, really dark gray or black box, just like you see on Instagram. But we need to add our text in there. So let's grab our text type tool this time and we'll type inside the lines, whatever the person's Instagram handle or username is. And we're gonna keep it all lower caps to stay true to how it actually is on Instagram. So I'm gonna highlight this. I'm gonna change the properties of the text in this case to be white. And we're also gonna change the font. You can use Roboto if you have it for a good Instagram font and just set it to regular. Or if you don't have Roboto, you can use Helvetica or whatever font that you technically want, but we're gonna keep it true to Instagram style. Now I'm going to adjust the X and Y position in title properties to center it within the square. You can also use the move tool in the title tools to click and move your text and you can use these bounding boxes as good points of reference. So you can see my name doesn't really fill out this rectangle so I'll click on it. I'll drag these sides in from both sides by holding Alt until so we have our tag that's well fit and created. So you should see your new title at the bottom of your project media bin after you create it and you can click and drag it onto your projects. But in this case, we made it bigger than we need, really. We're just gonna pop it into kind of like my shoulder neck area. So I'll click the title and I'll lower the scale until it looks just about the size that I want. So that looks right and I can move the X and Y position to give it a good starting point. Also, I'm gonna drag in my pop sound effect that I got from the YouTube audio library at this point and I'm gonna match up the starting point of when it pops on the screen with the pop sound effect. So I'll make it pop on at this point a couple seconds in when I extend my arm and let's start adding some keyframes to have some wiggle and tracking onto this. So you can use the positional sliders for X and Y in the effects control panel or if you're working in the program window, you can also double click on your shape and move it around with your mouse if you wanna work that way. So starting at the first frame, if we just toggle the stopwatch animation and use the sliders, we can get a pretty easy workflow. So the way I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press space on my keyboard, that's gonna play a couple seconds, and I'm just gonna adjust the X and Y pretty loosely. We're just gonna keep it focused around the middle of my neck area. So I'll press space, I'll move the X and Y just to make sure it's not off, and I'll just do that a couple times until the title is over. So it's really simple. I don't really think there's a need to go into After Effects to get the perfect tracking. And actually, if we're doing it kind of inspired by Jake Paul, it's got a very loose animation in his vlogs as well. So that's just kind of the style of it. So once we reach the end, you wanna make sure your last keyframe extends all the way to the end of the clip and cut it off wherever you want it to cut off. And let's right click and apply default transition to cross dissolve it out 
and I'll shrink that crosses off so it only lasts a little bit. So when I press play on that, you'll see it pops in. It has that really loose tracking and then it fades out. And now that we've created it one time right here in a project media bin, we can just press Command C, Command V. We'll create a duplication of it and then I can drag it on to other portions of the project. So I can drag it on here and change it to be someone else's username now that we've created the basic shape and fonts and then just adjust the spacing as you need. So in this case, our usernames have about the same amount of characters, but you want to just realign things slightly, just make sure everything looks even and to scale. And then you can place it on the timeline, shrink it down to whatever scale you want, and then do the same thing. Just animate it with a couple really loose positional keyframes, add the pop sound effect and fade it out at the end. And you can repeat this throughout your whole video project. So that's how you create those Instagram style tags for your videos all within Premiere Pro. Don't have to go to Photoshop or After Effects. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like on it below. Check out my channel for more tutorials and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And as you saw in the video, you can follow me on Instagram at Justin Odi Show if you want to reach out to me, have any questions or join the live streams that we do. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.